the diff uh, methods of solving the differential equation okay uh, so we have done two methods now two are remaining homogeneous and linear differential so, so today we will do the homogeneous but before that we will check that what is a homogeneous function A function a function f x comma y is said to be is said to be homogeneous is said to be homogeneous of degree n of degree n if f x comma if f lambda x comma lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n f x comma y okay so if you have a function then it is said to be homogeneous of degree n if f lambda x comma lambda y is equal to this one for example for example if we have y i have written this x comma y and not only x because in this example i will take uh, a function like this x square plus y square so here you will have both the variables x and y okay now in place of x if i will put lambda x in place of y if i will put lambda y then in place of x i will write lambda x whole square plus in place of y i will write lambda y whole square it is equal to lambda square x square plus lambda square y square it is equal to take out lambda square common here you will get x square plus y square okay and this is lambda square and in place of this i uh, we can write this one f x comma y and here we have f lambda x comma lambda y okay so uh, we will say that this is a homogeneous function of degree it is a homogeneous function of degree so f x comma y is a homogeneous is a homogeneous function function of degree two degree Okay, so I hope this is clear to you, Atif. Huzefa, you have uh, just joined. Please check here. Now, Huzefa, uh, in methods of solving the differential equation, we have already done two types. Okay, now the third type is homogeneous differential equation. But before that, we will check that what is a homogeneous function. Okay, so here a function f(x) comma y is said to be homogeneous of degree n if f lambda x comma lambda y is equal to lambda n into f x comma y okay a function is said to be homogeneous of degree n if in place of x you are putting lambda in place of y you are putting lambda and you get a lambda to the power n okay and first thing why i have written f x comma y and not only f x because normally we represent a function by f x but here i am representing it by x comma y because in our function we will have both the variables x and y that's why i'm writing x comma y okay now what i have done in place of x i have put lambda in place of y i have put lambda so we will do the square so basically the complete lambda to the power something will get common should uh, we should get common from both the variables okay Josefa, is it clear okay great okay so this is a homogeneous function of degree two uh, please note down this raise your hands so that we can start the next topic
Huzifa uh, and Atif, is it done? Shall we start next? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Huzifa, uh, is it done? Okay, great. Now, uh, please check this. Suppose if we have this function x comma y and it is x q plus x y square. Tell me this is a homogeneous function. Okay, this is second. It is third. Uh, you were present yesterday. Okay, okay, uh, then you have missed a very important topic. Please uh, check the recorded lectures and complete the assignments. Okay. And all of you, please do the homework. I'm not getting the homework from both the batches and you will face issue in your final exam because uh, you will have your exams in March, November, December, Jan, Fab. Okay, you have only four months. <laughs> Remove the Fab. Okay, so you have November, December, and January. You have three months. You have to complete the syllabus. You have to do the revision also. Okay, so if you will complete our syllabus, uh, maybe in January, up to 10 January. Okay, then you, um, and if you will not do the homework, then I'm not sure that how in a one and a half month you will complete the homework and discuss your doubts. It will not be possible for you. Okay, so please complete the homework till next week. Uh, Seth, why you are late? Almost 17 minutes late. So my software was updating, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Atif uh, and Josefa, please share your answer on the chat box. Uh, Seth, uh, we have started the homogeneous function. Okay. So, what is a homogeneous function? If we have this function f x comma y, for example, x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5. In place of x, if we will put lambda, in place of y, we will put lambda. So, here you will get lambda x to the power 5. In place of y, you will get lambda y to the power 5. So this will be equal to lambda 5 x5 five, and here you will get lambda 5 y5. Five. Okay. Take out lambda to the power 5. You will get x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5. It is equal to lambda to the power 5 and here you will write f x comma y. Okay. Lambda x comma lambda y is equal to this one. Okay. So here this is a differential equation of degree 5. This is the power. Okay, when we will say it's a differential equation, when you, you will put lambda in place of x and y, and you can take out complete common so that you, here you will get a fx comma y. Okay, so uh, Steph, I'm changing the slide. Please take a screenshot of this. There's a definition. Was it done, Steph? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So next one, second and third, please tell me that. Uh, good, Atif, third is also good, very good. Uh, Josefa, please share your answer. And most probably next Saturday, we will complete this chapter. On Sunday, we will start a new chapter. So after this, vector, LPP, 3D and probability, four chapters are left now. But I'm worried about your homework. Josefa, is it done? Uh, do you have any doubt, Josefa, here? Which alphabet? Here we have X, here we have X. This is lambda. Which alphabet? Don't do this, please. Okay, this was the example for Seth. Uh, Zephyr, let me know if you have a doubt, but this is a very, very simple concept.
Josefa, uh, do you understood this this one? You just need to put in place of x lambda x in place of y lambda y. Okay, in place of x put lambda x in place of y put lambda y and check what you are getting as a comma. Here also put lambda x and lambda x lambda y. Okay, Seth, uh, please tell me the answer for a second. So I'm getting lambda x power 3 Good. into x is power 3 plus x y square very very good so that means it's a differential equation of degree what three degree three very very good now please check the third one was if uh, second one is right okay okay Is it done, all of you? Seth, third is done? No one minute, sir. OK, Josefa, second is done? Josefa, second is done? Yes, yes. So it is a homogeneous equation, or a homogeneous function or not, Josefa? Yes, okay. So it's a homogeneous function of degree three. Okay, now please check this one, third one. And uh, you will face issue in this chapter, okay, because you have not completed the integration. Let's see now. Now please check the third one. Tell me that this is a homogeneous or not.
Joseph, no, you are not correct. Joseph, is it done the third one? Uh, I'm not sure why you guys are taking so much time. Please check here. You just need to put lambda x and lambda y in place of this. So what you will get here? Lambda x to the power 4. Here you will get lambda x. Here you will get lambda y whole square. So here you will get lambda 4x to the power 4. Here you will get lambda x. Okay. And this is lambda square. So here you will get lambda q x y square if you want to take common then you can just take lambda q common so you will get lambda x to the power 4 plus x y square so in place of this in place of this we can't write the function okay in place of this we can't write the function so this is not a homogeneous function okay so i hope now it is clear to you okay uh, so uh, do you have completed this Joseph and sir shall we start next Yes, sir. Okay, great. Next one. Uh, next is uh, homogeneous differential equation. Homogeneous differential differential homogeneous differential equation. Okay. What's a homogeneous differential equation? Our differential equation our differential equation of the form uh, our differential equation of the form mm -hmm. dy by dx is equal to fx comma y where where fx comma y is a homogeneous function is a homogeneous function of degree zero of degree zero okay what is a homogeneous differential equation last topic was homogeneous function so we have checked in the last topic that the function is homogeneous or not here we are saying homogeneous differential equation that the differential equation is homogeneous or not so our differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to fx comma y where fx comma y is a homogeneous function of degree zero okay so i will give you an example for example first thing is on the left hand side you have only you should have only dy by dx so if an exam they will give you some term here then please shift that term to the right side now suppose here you have x cube plus x y square and here you have, for example, x y x square y plus y q. Suppose this is the differential equation. So we need to check that this is a homogeneous differential equation or not. So this should be our function because I've written here that the equation should be in the form of dy by dx is equal to fxy. So on the left side, we will take only dy by dx. On the right side, we have we will have this one. Now let uh, this one. So we will say that this is our function. This is equal to x cube plus x y square by x square y plus y cube. Okay. Now in place of x, we will put lambda x. In place of y, we will put lambda y. So here, shall I write directly? We will get lambda cube x cube. Okay. I will. Uh, I miss one step. So here. We will read lambda x lambda y whole square by x uh, lambda x whole square lambda y plus lambda y whole cube. Okay, so it is equal to lambda cube x cube plus lambda cube x y square by lambda square x square. Sorry, lambda cube. Okay, x square y plus lambda cube y cube here we will take out lambda cube common so here we will get x cube plus x y square by lambda cube x square y plus y cube okay now these two are same base are same so we can subtract the power so here we can write lambda to the power zero and here we can write x cube plus x y square 
by x square y x square y plus y cube plus y cube so it is equal to lambda naught f x comma y okay so if you will see this what is this this is f lambda x comma lambda y so if you will see this then here the power of the lambda is zero and this is a differential function so so f x comma y is a homogeneous function what's the degree of this self uh, zero sir very good of degree zero of degree zero hence differential equation is hence hence given differential equation is given differential equation is homogeneous differential equation is homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation okay so in this case we need to check that this one this complete differential equation is homogeneous or not in such a case we have to check that this function is homogeneous of degree zero or not so this should be degree c okay so this should be a degree zero uh i hope this is clear to everyone please note down this raise your hands once it is done then we will solve our question okay Uh, Atif, Zephyr, Zephyr, please let me know once it is done. So I will change this slide. Okay, Atif. Is it done? Yes, sir. Done. Okay, Josefa, is it done? Uh, Josefa, uh, I'm changing the slide, so please let me know if you miss anything. Please complete this, all of you, and raise your hand, then we will take a question.
Okay, that's good. Who's the friend, Seth? Is it done? Uh, Josefa and Seth, is it done? Okay, Josefa, good. Seth, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now we will take a question. And this is a very, very important topic, okay? You can expect a question from homogeneous holes. Show that show that the differential equation show that the differential equation x cos y by x uh, dy by dx is equal to y cos y by x plus x is homogeneous is homogeneous and solve it okay so we need to check that it is homogeneous or not and then we need to solve this question so please check here okay i will miss one step uh, first of all can we say uh Josefa, Josefa, uh, please unmute yourself, okay, and tell me, can we say that this is our function fx comma y? Josefa, uh, can we say that this is fx comma y? Unmute yourself, Josefa. Okay, great, good. Now, please check here because you have some terms on the left side also. So it is not a homogeneous. Okay, please shift this to the right side. So here what you will get dy by dx is equal to y cos y by x plus x by x cos y by x. So we have uh, now we can check that this function is homogeneous or not. So for on the left side you should have dy by dx only. Now let f x comma y is equal to y cos y by x plus x by x cos y by x. Okay. Uh, next, you need to put lambda x comma lambda y here. So what you will get lambda y cos here you will have lambda y by lambda x plus lambda x by lambda x cos lambda y by lambda x. Okay. So here you will get f lambda x comma lambda y and it is equal to it is equal to here you have lambda y next cos this lambda and this lambda will get cancelled out so you will get cos y by x here you have lambda x and the denominator you have lambda x here lambda will cancel out and here you have cos y by x okay now f lambda x comma lambda y is equal to take out this lambda common so here you will get in the bracket y cos y by x okay plus x and in the denominator we will take lambda common and here we will have x cos y by x x cos y by x so this can be written as this lambda and lambda the power will get subtracted so you will get lambda to the power zero here we have y cos y by x plus x by in the denominator you have x cos y by x okay so 
this can be written as lambda x comma lambda y it is equal to lambda to the power zero and here you have the function x comma y okay so f x comma y is a homogeneous function is a homogeneous function of degree zero of degree zero hence given differential equation hence given differential equation given differential equation is homogeneous differential equation is homogeneous differential equation okay i hope this is clear to you that how uh, you can check that the differential equation is homogeneous or not so please note on this confirm me once it is done then i will show you that how to solve a homogeneous differential equation okay please uh, raise your hands once it is done Uh, Seth, again, internet issue? Yes, sir. Okay, Seth, uh, I have just shown here that it is a homogeneous differential equation. Okay, so please note on this, Seth, and check all the steps. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Okay, Atif. Uh, Josef and Sef, is it done? Shall we change the slide? One minute, sir. Okay, okay. Please confirm me, okay, once this will be done. Yes, sir. Can you show the other slide? Okay, sir. Josefa, I hope you have also completed this. Okay. If you miss anything, please let me know. Okay. okay. Please confirm me all of you if it is done.
Okay, I think good. Uh, Safa and Uzefa, is it done? Okay, great. Saf, is it done? Uh, Saf, is it done? Shall we start? Yes, it done. Okay, great. Okay, now, uh, till now we have checked that this is a homogeneous or not. Okay, so it is homogeneous. Now we will solve this question. So we have this question dy by dx. It is equal to x cos, okay, y cos y by x, y cos y by x plus x by x cos y by x, x cos y by x y cos x cos y okay okay now if the differential equation is homogeneous then you need to put y is equal to vx always if our differential equation is homogeneous you need to put y is equal to vx always you need to put this okay so if we will put this in first then what we are uh, but before that we will differentiate it okay so dy by dx is equal to what v dx by dx plus x dv by dx so here we will get dy by dx is equal to v dx by dx is one okay v plus x dv by dx we will get this Okay, so here we will put all the values in place of dy by dx. We will write v plus x dv by dx. I hope everyone knows why we have written in place of this. This value is equal to in place of y, we will write what vx in place of this cos. Here we will write vx by x plus x by x cos vx by x okay so the solution is lengthy so please note down this let me know once it is done and check each and every step if you have doubt please let me know if you understand this question then you can complete the exercise okay so note down this let me know if you have doubt in any of this step And sir, why are we taking y equals to vx? Okay, uh, so if it is a homogeneous, okay? If you will see the methods which we have discussed yesterday, then none of the methods is applied here. You can't separate it, and even uh, it is also not in reducible to variable separable form, okay? So for homogeneous, we will always put y is equal to vx, and in the end, you can see that how this helps in finding the solution. Okay, so please wait for five minutes. Now check all the steps. Is this clear to everyone? Okay. Uh, and next Sunday, you have a test of differential equation. Okay, I think good. Jose and Saf, is it done? Jose and Saf, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay. okay, okay, great. Okay, so we have put y is equal to vx and in place of dy by dx, we have put this value. 
now uh, check here this x will get cancel out this x will also get cancel out so what we will get v plus x dv by dx is equal to vx okay and one more thing uh okay this we will do later on cos v plus x by here we have x cos v now v plus x dv by dx v plus x dv by dx is equal to uh here take out x common so what we will get v cos v plus one by x cos v x cos v okay x will also get cancel out now what we get here v plus x dv by dx is equal to v cos v plus one by cos v so x dv by dx is equal to v cos v plus one by cos v minus v so here we will get x dv by dx is equal to v cos v plus one minus v cos v by cos v so here we will get x dv by dx is equal to v cos v and this will get cancelled out so we get a one by cos v now you know that how you will solve this is v this is dv so shift this cos here we'll get cos v dot dv and on the right side what you will get dx by x now integrate it uh sir so, uh what's the integral of cos v uh sine v very very good sine v and this you already know log log mod x plus c so this is our final answer okay now sir you can see that by using y is equal to vx this question is reduced to this form where we can separate the variable okay that's why in homogeneous differential equation you always need to put y is equal to vx and i I'm, I'm again saying to you that please always start with the first type do not directly approach to homogeneous in exam you can get confused maybe the type was simple but you put a concept of homogeneous and make it a more complicated question so please uh this okay uh start note note down this i guess you have done this I, i'm not sure please complete this okay so always start with the first type variable separable form if it is not variable go to the next type reducible to variable if that is not go to then homogeneous now please note down this let me know once it is done then i will change the slide so we need to find out v right oh i'm sorry i'm sorry okay sine y sine v is equal to this now we already know we don't need v let's get it so y is equal to vx okay so what was v v was y by x okay now put put let this be two put v is equal to y by x in two so what you will get here sine y by x is equal to log mod x plus c okay this is your final answer thank you Adiv. uh all of you please note down this let me know once it is done then i will change the slide here your all concept of integration will be used
Is it done, everyone? Atif, Zephyr, and Seth, is it done? Atif, Zephyr, and Seth, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, Zephyr and Seth, shall I change the slide? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Zephyr, I guess, Zephyr, you have also done. Okay, I got a message from your side. Now, please uh, note down this and raise your hands once it is done, then I will give you a new question. Done, sir. Okay, out of good. Uh, so, Zef and Zef, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Zef, is it done? Okay, great. Now, next question. Next question. Show that. Show that the differential equation show that the differential equation x minus y dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y is homogeneous is homogeneous and solve it and solve it okay now please try this question first of all check that this is homogeneous or not after that put y is equal to vx and solve it okay let me know if you need help in any of this step and please don't ask me how to integrate a function okay we have done integration a lot so please do this on your own
uh, all of you first please let me know okay that uh, it is homogeneous or not and you need to show that in the exam as we have uh, done in the previous question Uh, very good, Saf. Now please solve it. Uh, Josefa and Atif, is it a homogeneous function? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Josefa? Josefa, is it a homogeneous? Josefa, uh, very good. Now, please solve it. Okay. And let me know if you need any step, any, any help in this step, but the rest is integration. Okay, so you know how to integrate.
Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, you, yes, sir. Um, sir, after putting y equals to vx, yes, I got x dy by dx equals to v square plus v plus one okay. by one minus v. Should I like uh, simplify it? Okay, then... just just give me a minute. Let me write down this. Put y is equal to vx. Okay. Sorry. So I'm I'm missing some steps. Okay. So I hope you understood it. V plus x dv by dx. It is equal to x plus two vx by x minus uh, vx. Okay. So here you will get v plus x dv by dx is equal to Take out x common, so 1 plus 2v. Uh, Saf, please match your steps. 1 minus v, x will get cancelled out. So x plus v dv by dx. So v plus x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus 2v by 1 minus v. So shift this. x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus 2v by 1 minus v minus v so here you will get x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus 2v minus v plus v square by 1 minus v so here you will get x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v plus v square by 1 minus v okay so here you will get uh, shift all the terms. So 1 minus v by 1 plus v plus v square dot dv is equal to dx by x. So, Seth, are you getting this in the end? Yes, sir. Great. Yes. Now you need to solve it. Now, uh, can you tell me how you integrate this? By taking partial fractions. By partial fraction, no. It is no, 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 no partial fraction. Okay, you can't separate it. Anyone else who can tell me how can we solve this? Atif, Josefa, can you tell me how you solve the LHS? Atif and Josefa, this is which type? Look, yes, yes, F. There is it Px plus Q by A square? Yes, that's 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 correct. So you need to take. I will give you the hint. I will not solve it. Okay, we have done integration a lot. So hint is one minus v is equal to a into derivative of this one plus v plus v square plus b. Seth, are you saying this? Yes. Sir. Okay, great. Now all of you, please solve it and share your answer. Uh, sir, can we use by completing the square method also? Uh, we will use self, but before that, we have to find the value of a and b. Okay, even if you will uh, change this into a completing in a perfect square, then still it will not help you. Okay, we will do that step, but before that, the value of a and b needs to be fine. Okay, all of you, you need a lot of hard work. You have to do the integration also. Okay. 
No one has shared your doubt of miscellaneous. And you can see in the previous years, miscellaneous question directly came in the exam. Okay, I'm not sure how you will manage all these chapters now. Uh, I'm just coming in two minutes, okay? Please continue this. Give me two minutes. Okay, all of you, I'm back. Uh, please let me know if you need, if you restrict somewhere.
if anyone need a help, please let me know. Okay.
Uh, is it done, Atif, Zephyr, Saf? Is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, Saf. So, can you share the answer? Or I will write the answer. Is it fine? Okay, sir. Okay, so I will write the answer here. Uh, just give me a minute. So, the answer is lock x square plus xy plus y square and it is equal to 2 root 3 tan inverse x plus 2y by root 3x plus c okay uh are you getting the same one sir sir i didn't substitute for b okay 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 uh is it done uh atif Atif, is it done? No, sir, I'm doing it. Okay, great. Josefa, is it done? Okay, Josefa, you're getting the same answer? Okay, great. Josefa, uh, can you show me, can you send me the screenshot? Okay, please send me the big, I want to see your method. Please WhatsApp me. Uh, okay, so far. Okay, okay, then, then it's fine. Okay. And uh, Seth, please check if you are getting this one. So then it's fine. So I'm getting a different answer. A different one? Okay, so let me solve this, then we will check. Okay. Uh, so A minus V is equal to this one. We will integrate it. Sorry, we will differentiate it. 1 minus V is equal to uh, A into, differentiate this one. For 1, it is 0, 1 plus 2V. 1 plus 2V plus B. Okay. Open the bracket. 1 minus V is equal to A plus 2AV plus B. So 1 minus V is equal to A plus B plus 2AV. Okay, now compare this. You will get A plus B is equal to 1. Okay, because it is a constant. Minus V coefficient of V is 2A. So from here we will get minus 1 is equal to 2A. So A is equal to minus 1 by 2. Okay. A plus B is equal to 1. So here we will get what? Minus 1 by 2 plus B is equal to 1. And here we will get B is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2. So here we will get B is equal to 3 by 2. Okay, we get the value of A and B. Put these values. So, what we will get here? This one. So, 1 minus V is equal to 1 minus V is equal to A is minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2 and derivative of this. So, its derivative is what? Okay, here we have the term 1 plus 2V plus B. B means 3 by 2. Okay, what was our question? Question was integral. 1 minus v dot dv by 
1 plus v plus v square, 1 plus v plus v square, and it is equal to integral of dx by x, dx by x. So in place of this 1 by v, we will write this term. So minus 1 by 2, 1 plus 2v by 1 plus v plus v square, and we have one more term, which is 3 by 2, integral dot dv is equal to this dx by x is log mod x plus c. Okay, now solve this one. What you will get here? Uh, separate the terms. Minus 1 by 2, 1 plus 2v by 1 plus v plus v square, 1 plus v plus v square dot dv integral plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 by 1 plus v plus v square integral dot dv is equal to and here we have a log mod x plus c log mod x plus c okay now sef uh, you have done in the same way yes sir okay now what we will do we don't have the space so we will take this i1 this we will take i2 we will solve this separately let this be one okay then we will put in this equation okay otherwise to integrate two terms is quite typical okay because we have to focus on a single term let i1 is equal to this minus 1 by 2 i will write here here 1 plus 2 v is equal to by 1 plus v plus v squared first of all we'll solve this so always remember this part the part which we have taken with derivative this one so that means this one this always solved by the substitution method this always solved by substitution method you can blindly use substitution with this one okay and this always make a perfect square the b will be solved by a perfect square this always solved by a substitution method so let t is equal to 1 plus v plus v square then dt by dv is equal to 1 plus 2v and dt is equal to 1 plus 2v dot dv okay so here i1 is equal to you will get minus 1 by 2 integral here you will get a dt by t so i1 you will get minus 1 by 2 integral of this is log mod t and what is t here it is minus 1 by 2 log what was t t is 1 plus v plus v square okay so we get i i1 here now next we will take as i2 let i2 is equal to the second one uh, 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 integral dv by 1 plus v plus v square okay now this always solved by completing the square method so what you have to do here i2 is equal to 3 by 2 integral dv so you know this v square v plus 1 take the coefficient of v that is 1 divide with 2 to the square so 1 by 4 so add 1 by 4 and subtract 1 by 4 so what you will get here i2 is equal to 3 by 2 integral dv by now this this and this always make a formula so it is v plus 1 by 2 whole square and this one 1 minus 1 by 4 this will give you 3 by 4 so here you will get i2 is equal to 3 by 2 integral dv okay uh, you can solve this directly if you have a doubt then you will use the substitution okay so this can be written as v plus 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square so this is of the type integral dx by x square plus a square which is nothing 1 by a tan inverse x by so here we will write i2 is equal to 3 by 2 okay i am writing the result directly but if you have a doubt how to solve this use the substitution take this as t so this t or p any variable so this will become dt so this will be reduced to this type i am writing this directly 1 by a 1 by a means root 3 uh root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 is here tan inverse x by a in place of x we have v plus 1 by 2 
by a we have root 3 by 2 so i2 we have 2 will get cancel out this also can cancel out 1 by root 3 okay so here we have tan inverse so it is 2v plus 1 by 2 and it is root 3 by 2 so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. So you will get I2 is equal to 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 tan inverse 2v plus 1 by root 3. Okay. Now put what was our equation? It is first. So put. Let's say yes. it should be root 3 into uh, tan inverse, right? Root 3 into tan inverse. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is root 3 into tan inverse. Uh, thank you, sir. Root 3. So here we have root 3. Okay. So put I1 and I2 in first. So we get what? What is the first equation? This one. So in place of this, we get I2, which is minus 1 by 2 log. So minus 1 by 2 log mod. 1 plus v plus v square plus so what is i2 we have i2 is this one 3 by 2 okay so that means this root 3 tan inverse root 3 root 3 tan inverse 2v plus 1 by root 3 2v plus 1 by root 3 okay and then what we have log mod x plus c is equal to log mod x plus c. Okay. Now put what is v? Y is equal to vx. So v is equal to y by x. Put y is equal to y by x. Let this be 2 and 2. Substitute this value. So we will get what? Minus 1 by 2 log modulus 1 plus y by x plus y square by x square. Okay plus root 3 tan inverse 2 y by x plus 1 by root 3 is equal to log mod x plus c. Solve this minus 1 by 2 log. Okay, take the LCM. Try to simplify this x square. So it is x square uh plus y x plus y square plus root three uh tan inverse here you will get two y plus x by root three x is equal to log mod x plus c okay uh, now this one this log square and this one this can be cancelled out okay so we will further simplify this it is minus 1 by 2 and here we have log we will apply here the property of log x square plus y x plus y square minus log mod x square plus root 3 and inverse 2y plus x by root 3x is equal to log mod x plus c okay open this bracket so you will get minus 1 by 2 log modulus x square plus x y plus y square and plus 1 by 2 log mod x square plus root 3 tan inverse 2y plus x by root 3x is equal to log mod x plus c plus c okay now, so minus 1 by 2 log this term. x square plus xy plus y square. x square plus xy plus y square. And here you have this x square. So we can write it like this. 1 by 2. This 2 can be write, written here. And here we have log mod x. Okay. By using this property. This one. Log x to the power n is equal to n log x. It is plus root 3, plus root 3, tan inverse. And here you have 2y plus x, 2y plus x by root 3x is equal to log mod x, log mod x plus c. 
this cancel out log then log and this will also get cancel out so we will get minus one by two log x square plus xy plus y square plus root three tan inverse two y plus x by root three x is equal to c okay so we are getting what log x square plus x y plus y square is fine two root three okay they have taken the lcm nothing else okay and they have shifted the term so this is also fine what they have done in the answer they have just taken the lcm shifted that two to the right side and this also interchange this negative they have shifted to the right side so that's fine that's also correct yeah. Seth, is it clear yes sir Atif. Are you getting the same answer? Yes. Okay, great. Zephyr, you have done uh, in the same way? Zephyr, you have done in the same way? Please message me, Zephyr. Okay, great. So you have seen that um, we have solved this question by using all the concepts of integration okay and uh, this is a very scoring chapter very important so please do the homework don't wait that first you will complete the homework of integration then you will start differential equation otherwise uh, this will done in the same way for all the chapters okay start differential uh, start differential equation if you are stuck in integration then please check the topic Okay, but first of all, complete differential equation, then do the previous chapters. You guys have not completed even the application of integral. Okay, you just have only four months, and I'm not sure how you will complete it. In relation and function, I have done almost all the questions in class only. I told you at that time, there are some chapters where, where we will do most of the questions in class. There are some chapters where you have to do the homework. Okay, integration, differential equation are one of them. Okay, so uh, Sev, do you want to note, uh, note down this? Sev, you have to note, note down this or is it done? No, sir, it's done. It's done? Okay, great, great. Then I will give you a very good question now. Just, just give me a minute. Okay, I will give, uh, tell you a new concept here. But first of all, you have to solve on your own. The question is, show that, show that the family of curve, show that the family of curve, family of curves for which, for which the slope, for which the slope of the tangent, for which the slope of the tangent at any point at any point x comma y uh, on it is x square plus y square by 2xy is given is given by x square minus y square is equal to cx okay so here you need to show that the family of curve for which the slope of the tangent at any point is this one okay now who can tell me what is slope of a tangent what is the formula we have done y... it no no we y... have we have done in application of uh, derivative in that chapter how we find the slope of tangent y equals to mx plus c yeah, that's that's fine. But that you have to uh, tell me by using the coordinate geometry. Okay, by using differentiation, how you we used to find an application of derivative. Atif, Zephyr, Sef, how we used to find an application of derivative? How you find the slope of attention? Slope of tangent is what? Slope of tangent. Slope of tangent at any point. At 
any point x comma y is is dy by dx okay we used to find dy by dx so this means dy by dx is what they are saying the slope of the tangent is this one so dy by dx is x square plus y square by 2xy is it clear atif was f and f yes sir okay so only uh, 10 minutes are left okay so i will solve this question we need to complete this in 10 minutes please check here let f x comma y is equal to what because i need to show you one uh, step here 2 xy okay so f lambda x comma lambda y is equal to lambda square x square plus lambda square y square by 2 lambda x lambda y and this will give you f lambda x lambda y is equal to take lambda square common x square plus y square by take lambda square common so it is 2xy so f lambda x comma lambda y and it is equal to uh, lambda 0 x square plus y square by 2xy so you can write the statement on your own that this is a homogeneous differential equation okay let this be one so i'm putting the <coughs> sorry so i'm putting y is equal to vx in first in first so what you will get v plus x dv by dx and this is equal to what this one x square plus v square x square by 2xy means 2 v x square okay 2x into y so 2x into vx what we will get v plus x dv by dx is equal to please let me know if you have any doubt here, by 2 v x square so here you will get v plus x dv by dx and this is equal to take x square common so you will get 1 plus v square and the denominator you will get x uh, 2 v x square 2 v x square okay so this will get cancelled out what you will get v plus x dv by dx and it is equal to 1 plus v square by 2 v shift this x dv by dx to the right side so you will get 1 plus v square by 2 v minus v so x dv by dx is equal to 2 v 1 plus v square minus 2 v square so x dv by dx is equal to 1 minus 1 minus v square by 2v okay now shift the term 2v by 1 minus v square this side dv and x term on the right side now integrate it uh, who can tell me atif atif this will be solved by which method But if this will be solved by which method? 2v by 1 minus v square. How can we solve this? Anyone else? The substitution. Very good. By using substitution. Okay. So let t is equal to 1 minus v square. So here we will get what? T, t by tv is equal to minus 2v. So here we will get dt is equal to what we need. Negative we will shift here. So dv dot dv. Okay. So in place of this 2v dot dv, we will write minus dt. 1 minus v square means t is equal to integral dx by x. So minus log mod t is equal to log mod x plus c. Okay. Now the important thing. Always remember, always remember here you have three terms first is this variable second is this variable and this is the constant of integration here you have three variables so except constant of integration if in rest of the terms you are getting a log okay except constant of integration in rest of the terms if you are getting a log then please write in place of c also log c because it's a constant 
so log c will also not make any difference okay i hope uh, this is clear to you and shift all the variable part to the left side so here you will get minus log mod t minus log mod x is equal to log c okay now take out the negative common here what you will get take out negative common log mod t plus log mod x is equal to log c is equal to log c okay now here you can even write minus now combine these two what you will get ex is equal to log c okay and uh, if it is bad uh, we have to do something of this negative okay so what i'm doing i'm shifting this to the right side log mod tx is equal to minus log c so we can write it like this log mod tx is equal to this negative can be shifted to its power c to the power minus one this minus one i have shifted here so i hope you understood why how we have done this by using this property log x to the power n is equal to n log x this n can be shifted here now both side you have a log so you can remove this log now okay and please remember if you have a modulus here if you have a modulus and we are removing it also so you can write like this tx is equal to c inverse we have first removed the log now we need to remove this modulus so always remember whenever you are removing the modulus you will get a okay one more thing i am writing c1 here i will tell you later on why i am writing c1 okay so it is c1 it is c1 it is also c1 so it is equal to whenever you are removing a mod you need to write plus minus c1 inverse okay plus minus c1 inverse and then let c is equal to plus minus c1 inverse okay this complete we will take as c so we get tx is equal to c uh, and what was t put let this be third in place of t put this value what was the value uh, what we have taken one minus v square put t is equal to one minus v square in third so what we get one minus v square x is equal to c now what is v y is equal to vx so v is equal to y by x so put this value here put v is equal to y by x let this be fourth in fourth okay so what we will get one minus y square by x square into x is equal to c and this y square by x square into x is equal to c so cancel out this x so you will get x square minus y square by x is equal to c okay so this is your final answer if you wish you can shift this x also and you can write like this but that's your wish so what is a diff what is different in this question is this log so please remember except the constant of integration if you are getting a log then please take the constant of integration as log c1 so that finally you can remove the log okay and why i have shifted this negative to this right side and put in the inverse because we can't compare these two if we have a negative we need log log that's why i have shifted this to the inverse this is a difficult and a different question so please let me know honestly this is clear to you or you have a doubt if you have a doubt then we can again do the same question in the next class atif is it clear or you have a problem in this yes sir it's clear good zaf and saf tell me honestly because, okay because this is a different one so maybe you have some doubt here 
Josefa and Sev. Is it clear? It's clear. Yeah, good. Josefa. Okay, great. So now please note down this. So from where we have started from this, please note down this. Let me know once it is done. Okay. And then we will end the class. Please let me know uh, when when I need to change the slide. Uh, is it done, everyone? Shall I change the slide? Is it done, Atif, Josef, Saf? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm changing the slide. If anyone miss anything, please let me know. Please note down this.
Is it done? Atif, Josef, and Seth? Is it done, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm, okay, great. So I'm changing it. If anyone miss, please let me know. Please note down this. Uh, okay, Josefa, uh, please note on the homework. Homework is assignment fourth. Okay, assignment three is already shared on the group. Yes, the class is over. So the homework is assignment third, th uh, fourth and third I have given yesterday in the homework. It is already in the group. And this fourth we will share till tomorrow. Okay, please do the assignment share till next, next Saturday. Okay, yes. Thank you, Josefa. Okay, Atif and Seth, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, so if you wish, Atif, you can leave. Okay, and please complete the homework and share with me. Okay, sir, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Seth, is it done? Seth, is it done? 